Okay, I've gone ahead and filled this all in for you. And so you can see now as you've gone around and put all the hearts, the next thing you want to do is you want to take your guides and move them out of the way. So when you highlight them, you can see that they're, you, you can, once they turn a color, you can then grab it and then pull them out of your way. See, it turns the color, grab it, and pull it out of the way. All right, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to highlight this. Well, excuse me. You have created a, uh, a stroke on this. You put it, this is just a stroke. So you're going to have to um, turn that into uh, what the width of the stroke is. So the, the way you do that is you click your, your square, you go up to path, and you say stroke to path. That way the stroke now is that width. Now what we want to do is we want to weld this all together. So let's just take a few more, let's, let's put this in a little bit here. There, that looks better. All right, so that looks pretty good before, anytime you start to put it all together, you want to make sure that things are looking okay. I, I think these need to be moved in just ever so slightly. They uh, so that they'll cut better. Let's all move these in. Okay. So basically, now that everything's okay, you can highlight the entire thing. You can click Path Union. All right. So now you have your design. Now the other thing that we'd like to do is you can right click and you can do your field field stroke and you can go up here and make it a color that you would like to have it. And you can just play around with it. I like, I tend to like it a brighter red. Alright, so that's about what I'd like. Alright, so that's all set. Now let's make the mat that goes behind this. And the way we're going to do that is we're, it's highlighted. We're going to right click, copy, right click, paste. All right. Now in order to make a mat, you want it larger. So what you want to do is you want to go up to the path and click outset. What it does, it makes this slightly larger. I like to do it about three times. Again, you've got it highlighted and you choose outset. All right, let's let's uh, let's undo that last part. There, I like that. All right. Now, <clears throat> some of the things here you might want to fix because um, the, the, you're not going to be able to cut cut these. It's just too tiny. So let's click the nodes uh, tool and then highlight it and your nodes will then display. And let's zoom in on this and take care of some issues that I can see. This is too tiny to cut so we're going to get rid of that. So delete that and let's see Let's just get rid of this too, as well. And anything else? You might want to make this a little wider. So as you can see, you can just move, manipulate your nodes just to get rid of some of it, the issues that could happen. Like for instance here. You want it to cut all right. So, in fact, I think what I'll do is I'll just delete that node so it's they're more in. There we go. That'll be better. Okay. Now let's get rid of this inside the the e. Just, all right. Looks like everything looks pretty good. Uh, a couple of little places here. There we go. All right, let's zoom out and use the minus key on the uh, 
keypad and you've got zoomed out. Now let's select this. Okay, so let's right click and we're going to um, do a fill stroke and we're going to make this black. Okay, so now we're going to put this on top of that. So let's highlight this and bring these, lower it. Uh, you can put it to the next level, the next highest level, and then to the top. So let's put it to the top. And we bring this over and it sets right on top. And now you have a finished design. Isn't that pretty? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you much success.